Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. A Judicial Watch DOJ says Loretta Lynch used alias Elizabeth Carlisle to conduct official business to protect security and privacy. The Department of Justice told conservative watchdog group Judicial Watch former Attorney General Loretta Lynch used the alias Elizabeth Carlisle to conduct official business to protect security and privacy. The use of aliases by government officials actually stonewalls FOIA requests because group filing FOIA lawsuits don't know the alias uh, aliases and only request rec records using legal names. Now this is another way the Obama administration slithered around without the public knowing what they were up to behind the scenes. Now via Judicial Watch, illustrating how government hides information from the American public, former Attorney General Loretta Lynch used a fake name to conduct official Department of Justice business in agency emails obtained by Judicial Watch. Now, as the nation's chief law enforcement officer, Lynch, Barack Obama's second attorney general, skirted public records, um, records laws by using the alias Elizabeth Carlisle in emails she sent from her official DOJ account. Now, in the records provided to Judicial Watch, the DOJ explains it has necessary, it as necessary to protect her security and privacy, enable her to conduct department business uh, efficiency efficiently via email. Now in Lynch's case, Judicial Watch requested the records as part of an investigation into the Obama administration's involvement in a United Nations and International Law Enforcement Coalition called Strong Cities Network. The purported mission of the Global Coalition was to build a social cohesion and community resilience to counter violent uh, extremism. Uh, the DOJ masterminded the agreement and Americans found out about the U.S.'s participation when Lynch announced it during a U.N. speech on September 29th of 2015. Now, Lynch referred to SCN as a truly groundbreaking endeavor and assured the notoriously corrupt world body that the Obama administration was deeply committed to the new initiative. Now the government of the United States is fully invested in this co uh, collaborative approach and we have seen the value of empowering local communities by promoting initiatives they design and lead themselves, Lynch said. Now Judicial Watch says that the DOJ uh, Judicial Watch says the DOJ just furnished the records they requested from a 2015 FOIA lawsuit which cost them $50,000 at the time which previously yielded, yielded no records because of the use of an alias. Now, Judicial Watch was seeking an FOIA request on the name Loretta Lynch, not Elizabeth Carlisle. Sneaky. Now, in August of 2017, the Department of Justice released hundreds of emails to the American Center for Law and Justice, the ACLJ, in the investigation of former Attorney General Lynch's secret meeting with former President Bill Clinton. Now, an email from Loretta Lynch revealed she used the alias Elizabeth Carlisle and internet sleuths figured out Lynch was using the name of her late grandmother. Loretta's uh, grandmother's name is Lizzie Carlisle Harris. Loretta Lynch's mother's name is Lorraine, or Lorraine, uh, Lorraine sorry, Harris Lynch. Now certainly other government employees use aliases in order to hide from FOIA requests. The corruption never ends with the Obama administration. So be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.